Okay, today we are going to replace this throttle block with our new Ibex one that does not come apart when you're under strenuous riding in the mountains. To start, you will need a 732nd Allen wrench and a small screwdriver. The screwdriver will be taking a couple of C clips off and pins out. Be careful as this pin, this pin has multiple shims on the top, so just be careful. All the ones I've seen, they keep all the shims on the top. Now we are going to remove the throttle cable out of there, and it also has a really tiny clip inside of it. Right inside here. Now we'll of picks okay Slides into the back of there like that. Now we'll take the Allen wrench and loosen the Allen screw on the bottom of it. And then this piece slides out of there. And take this wire through the little hook right there so it's out of your way. off of the OEM throttle so that we can get the throttle towards take this off and open up the back so we can slide the piece out so we can get the throttle off and also get the electronic throttle sensor out of here Gently have to pull this out, and that's the completion of the disassembly. Okay, we will start the installation of the new throttle block, the new and improved stronger version. We'll start by putting, pushing the throttle position sensor. There's a little groove here. Lines up with the groove inside there. Take and push it down in there. We can take a small screwdriver and just lightly set it into place. You should be able to see it come through the little hole that there is there. Then we can take the cover Put it on and it will hold it down into place. Okay, we are ready to place the new throttle into position and we'll place this in there. It's going to take 
a 3 millimeter Allen wrench. Okay, using the 4 millimeter Allen wrench, we are going to tighten these screws down. Be careful not to over tighten them as you can end up making the nuts spin inside the thing. Tighten it down until your block is holding nice and snugly. It should move just a little bit with quite a bit of force. If the two come all the way together, don't try and squeeze it any further. Just bring the edges together and you should be in good shape. Okay, take your throttle cable, pull it out, hook it into your throttle, then take and hook it into your block. Push it over, drop your pin in, being careful because you're going past your throttle sensor. Put your C-clip on. Now you have your C-clip on, then just take and put your C-clip right in here onto your throttle cable so that it stays put. And now you're finished with a very beautiful throttle.